I'm on my way up. It's been two years since your last book. Hell, six, seven months since an update? Look, man, I got something. Two pages? Look, Stephen, I like you. You're a great writer. But times are changing. I need something I can sell. Do I need to get you a ghostwriter? Look, I'll get you something. Something tangible, all right? I'll give you a week. That's the best I can do. I need someone at that desk that makes books. One week. Or I have to call Stephanie Meyer? She fucking wrote Twilight. Hey, good joke with the uh, old typewriter. <laughs> Funny. Hey, uh, listen, I'm gonna have 20 pages on your desk by Monday. Call me back, huh?
Well, we all want to see that kind of a change, and it's up to all of us to do so. But let me ask you this. Being in politics for more than 10 years, what, what do you think is the most critical need for our community? And, and what do you think that... Uh, I'm sorry, this, this just in. I guess we are getting a report of a gunshot that went off in the downtown Phoenix area tonight, apparently near an office building. That's all we have, and uh, we'll try to get more details on this as soon as possible. In the meantime, guys, if you're out there in that area, be careful. Watch yourself. More on this as we get it. Well, shifting gears back to our discussion. What do you feel, Mr. Randolph, is the most critical need for us today? Just one hour ago, neighbors reported hearing a gunshot going off near the 7th Avenue and Indian School Road. Police are reporting that the victim, Frank Morris of Morris Publishing, was a self-inflicted wound, an apparent suicide. So right back to the studio, Frank. Phoenix Police, how may I help you? Hello? Hello? Professor Jameson. Yes, Stephen. Thank you very much for getting back with me so quickly. I appreciate that very much. Of course. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, I was digging through those pictures that you sent me and found something very unusual. Um, that symbol's not just an ordinary pentagram. It's much older than that. Probably dating far back as 1100 AD. Now, didn't you say there was a note with the typewriter? Well, what it basically says is if you have the person's face in your mind and you type their name on the typewriter and you do that within 40 seconds, the event will actually take place. Uh, uh, well, that's what I was afraid of. You see, the words are derived from an ancient scroll that translate out to a death note. Seems that it can change its form to better suit its current habitat. Oh, and plus it bestows the owner with a very, very dark curse. I, I understand. Is there, is there any way to permanently destroy the typewriter? Sorry, I didn't catch that last part. Professor? Steven! Professor, can you hear me? Professor! Thank you. 
Understand, yes, he has got to cooperate, cooperate, yes, he can. Wait, yes, he can. He can, the Maslan. Do you understand? Do you understand that? Huh? He's an Aslan. He's an Aslan. He's an Aslan. Yes, he's a man above, above, above. Yes, he can. Above, yes, he can. Everything, everything. Yes, you know, you know. Yes, he can because he's a man of it. Hey. Well, you cannot go, you cannot go be above him, above him, yes, he clean up, he put in the We have early reports just coming in of Trans Air Flight 270 from Los Angeles to Phoenix crash landing at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport at approximately 7.10 this evening. Officials estimate over 220 people were killed on impact. Preliminary reports indicate the cause was a faulty landing gear. However, NTSB investigators are en route to the scene for a formal investigation. We'll have updates for you as soon as we get them.